It is the sun that shares our works. The moon shares nothing. It is a sea. When shall I come to say of the sun, it is a sea, it shares nothing? The sun no longer shares our works, and the earth is alive with creeping men. Mechanical beetles never quite warm. And shall I then stand in the sun, as now I stand in the moon, and call it good, the immaculate, the merciful good, detached from us, from things as they are, not to be part of the sun, to stand remote and call it merciful. The strings are cold on the blue guitar, the vivid, florid, turgid sky, the drenching thunder rolling by, the morning deluged still by night, the clouds tumultuously bright and the feeling heavy and cold chords struggling toward impassioned choirs, crying among the clouds, enraged by gold antagonists in air. I know my lazy leaden twang is like the reason in a storm, and yet it brings the storm to bear. I twang it out and leave it there. And the color, the overcast blue of the air, in which the blue guitar is a form, described but difficult. And I am merely a shadow, hunched above the airy, still strings, the maker of a thing yet to be made, the color like a thought that grows out of a mood, the tragic robe of the actor, half his gesture, half his speech, the dress of his meaning, silk sodden with his melancholy words, the weather of his stage himself. Raise reddest columns, toll a bell and clap the hollows full of tin, throw papers in the streets, the wills of the dead, majestic in their seals, and the beautiful trombones. Behold the approach of him whom none believes, who all believe that all believe, a pagan in a varnished car. Roll a drum upon the guitar. Lean from the steeple. Cry aloud, Here am I, my adversary, that confronts you too, hooing the slick trombones, yet with a petty misery. At heart, a petty misery. Ever the prelude to your end. The touch that topples men and rock. Slowly the ivy on the stones becomes the stones. Women become the cities. Children become the fields. And men in waves become the sea. It is the cord that falsifies the sea. Returns upon the men. The fields entrap the children. Brick is a weed, and all the flies are caught, wingless and withered, but living alive. The discord merely magnifies. Deeper within the belly's dark of time, time grows upon the rock. Tom Tom, c'est moi. The blue guitar and I are one. The orchestra fills the high hall with shuffling men high as the hall. The whirling noise of a multitude dwindles, all said, to his breath that lies awake at night. I know that timid breathing. Where do I begin and end? And where, as I strum the thing, do I pick up that which momentously declares itself not to be I? And yet must be. Could be nothing else. The pale intrusions into blue are corrupting pallors. I do me. Blue buds or pitchy blooms. 
be content. Expansions, diffusions, content to be the unspotted imbecile reverie, the heraldic center of the world of blue, blue sleek with a hundred chins, the amorist adjective of flame. First one beam, then another, then a thousand are radiant in the sky. Each is both star and orb, and day is the riches of their atmosphere. The sea appends its tattery hues. The shores are banks of muffling mist. One says a German chandelier. A candle is enough to light the world. It makes it clear. Even at noon it listens in the essential dark. At night it lights the fruit and wine, the book and bread, things as they are. In a cheery oscuro where one sits and plays the blue guitar. Is this picture of Picasso's, this horde of destructions, a picture of ourselves? Now an image of our society? Do I sit, deformed, a naked egg, catching at goodbye, harvest moon, without seeing the harvest or the moon? Things that they are have been destroyed. Have I? Am I a man that is dead at a table on which the food is cold? Is my thought a memory? Not alive? Is a spot on the floor there, wine or blood, and whichever it may be? Is it mine? <laughs>